Elias Pettersson was born in 1998, but actually fell down to earth in 2017 when the Canucks needed him most. I was sleeping and then I woke up. Despite wasting the last years of the Sedins as the worst team in the league for three years, they never picked higher than fifth. Hey, yeah, cool. However, the consolations, consolations, consolation of the consolation might just be the best forward in his class. Elias just doesn't think the game, he owns it. It all feels pre-programmed the way he's able to see the ice and adjust two plays ahead. We all know about the shot, and it's a masterpiece, but the biggest thing I noticed watching him consistently the last week was his play without the puck. He backchecks like he's trying to beat Patrice Bergeron. He knows where to be under pressure in his own zone. Once he gets the puck back, has the patience to either defer to his defense or twirl around and do it his own way. I really like when he does the second thing because I get to see him skate. And here's some news. He's really good at it. It feels so deliberate and effortless the way he moves between the lines. Sure, he'll turn on the jets when he sees something he likes, but there's just something about seeing him gracefully glide through the middle on a rush, push off the D and or pass, he can do that efficiently too. Of course, the open ice isn't always gonna be there and he's only 172 pounds. Naturally, he's gonna get knocked down and he's gonna be vulnerable, is what I would have said if this is 2018. Patterson has recently developed a new weapon. His ass. I imagine he didn't like getting pulverized by Michael Matheson, so he decided to cut the shit and start drawing penalties without getting hurt. And he draws quite a few. He even draws penalties when he hits. Hell, he even draws penalties when he takes them. His positioning has also helped him transition better and keep plays alive in the offensive zone. The fact that he's made this adjustment so fast is fun for us, scary for everyone else. Okay, I've put it off for too long talking about stupid shit that doesn't matter. Let's talk about the shot and other corresponding offensive traits that are fun. The shot, Come on, he can release it off the rush. He can step into it from the circle. And when he draws that penalty, he has a one-timer in his back pocket ready to launch on the power play. You know, and it doesn't break. But like every facet of his game, there are layers to his scoring. He can thread the pass to Brock Besser. He can deflect. He can drive by deflect. He can score from his belt. Score from his ass. He can shoot out. He can baseball. His hand-eye coordination and hands around the net is something I never really appreciated until I saw it consistently. Sid's grown to a monster around the net, and I have to believe Pedersen wants to evolve in the same way. The only thing he hasn't done is the lacrosse goal. He's going to, though, I feel it. Here's something he did that I can't prove was on purpose, but I think was on purpose. Go with me here. Pedersen loses his stick in a battle with Tom Wilson. He goes to pick it up, but notices that Radko Gudis is trying to get the puck out and is under duress in his current situation. Instead of picking it up right away, he drops it again near the boards to better position himself to pick his stick up and pressure Gudis in one motion. He helps keep it in, puck comes back to him, he embarrasses Dmitry Orlov and draws a penalty that is a penalty 99 times out of 100, but for some reason not here, why? There is one thing Pedersen doesn't do, and that's take face-offs. Except when he has to. It isn't a new thing to put a natural center on the wing. I mean, they turned out okay. And I think he did play wing in Sweden beforehand, so it checks out. But he is still the center. He's penciled in on the scoreboard and etched in my mind from tens of lineups that I've read as a center, but he just doesn't take them. I don't know, JT Miller probably has something to do with it. Going forward, it's something he can add, but he's got the rest of the two-way thing down, I think. I'd like to see him shit a little more, too. I mean, he came into the NHL like this, and sometimes... I really don't want to be that guy, but Petey shit. Likewise, his passing radar can be a bit off, but he tries shit that not many people can do, and he has the respect to do it. He's an alien, he's a joy to watch, he's already great, and I can't wait to see him grow. So yeah, that's Elias Patterson. <laughs>